Hi, how are you? I'm Megan Marais. Um, so how may I help you? Um, I was wondering, how many different ways are there to open a bank account? So there are three different ways. Since you are the branch, I would be able to open it here uh, with you in front of me with two forms of ID. Mm -hmm. Primary would be driver's license, passport, anything that it's uh, gov either governmentally uh, provided. A uh, secondary form of ID can be any type of debit card that is provided to you, anything that has your name and has an expiration date and is imposed into the card. Um, you do have other forms, like for example, you can open it over the phone, and most banks do have a form for you to open it over the phone. You can also open it um, online if you have two forms of ID and if you have our information provided. Now, as of to the accounts that we do offer here, we do offer five different type of accounts, of checking accounts. Um, the most basic one is the Chase Total Checking Account, which um, includes all the products that we offer, which means that we deposit online banking. We have access to 16,000 ATMs, 5,800 branches in 23 states. Um, the good thing about this account is that you also receive nice services. So, uh, the, the only requirements this account is if you do not keep a, a $1,500 balance or have a direct deposit um, surpassing $500 a month. It doesn't have to be one, it could be um, totaling $500. Um, it'll, be, it'll be a total dollar fee for the, the Chase total checking account. So the Chase Premier Plus checking account, um, which is a higher class of account, you would have to keep a $15,000 balance, but it does come with uh, more benefits, like free cashier checks, money, English travel checks, gift cards, uh, free safety deposit box. You also can get it. If you do maintain the $15,000 and up, you do get a free business account. Um, we also offer above that is a Chase Premier Plus checking account, which you do get uh, free income, yeah. wire transfers, free stock payments. Um, we also have free overdraft protection, which is equivalent to ten dollars. So you do save a lot of money on that if you have seventy-five thousand dollars or more, okay. which I know you don't have right now. Um, so <laughs> what if for a student like me, because I'm in school, for a what? student, kind of we, check my it depends well, on your age. But you for free. <laughs> it depends on your age because um, if you're seventeen, between the ages of thirteen and seventeen, I will need your parent to be here in order for me to be able to do that. And that account is free. You do receive all benefits. You don't receive checks. You cannot overdraft your account. Um, but it's called the high school checking account. So I mean, those are pretty good just to start off. Okay. Um, you do receive all. If you are between the ages of 17 and 24, you are eligible for a Chase College checking account, which you do receive the same benefits that you receive free as a Chase Total checking account. But there are no fees as long as you're between the either between the ages of 17 and 24, or within five years of. gives us the option to like print our statement, do payments, withdraw, account balance, deposit, or you could do fast cash. All right, so Megan, we finished with your account. Here's your debit card. And you do have a balance of $1,500 in your account. So um, you are eligible to take that off from any ATM that we offer here near Miami Shores. Um, 
you have any questions regarding your account? Um, I have no questions about my account, but I have some questions about savings. Why should I save my money? It depends on your purpose. So if you have a purpose to, uh, let's say, purchase a vehicle, uh, purchase a house, or pay your student loan off, Anything that you have a purpose on, I would recommend you to save. The reason why we normally have savings accounts is because, um, let's say, you have all your money in your checking. It's very tempting for you to have your money in your checking. So, if it was me that I had $1,500 in my checking account, I would most likely, if I see something that I, that I want, I would most likely purchase it due to the fact that I have that amount of money in my checking. Um, we recommend it because, like, let's say you get paid every other week you can set yourself a goal to save a certain amount of money within one to two years that will require that you will require for whatever it is that you're saving. So that's the purpose of saving. Um, I heard you can put money in a CD to save it. What is that about? A CD is it's, um, abbreviated to be named Certificate of Deposit. The reason why it's called Certificate of Deposit is because you get a lump sum of money exceeding the amount of a thousand dollars. So it's not like an actual CD? It's not a CD. <laughs> cool. Clarifying. So, <laughs> so um, you put it for a certain period of time. You cannot touch it. You cannot. If you decide to withdraw it, it there is a penalty and you cannot deposit in it. So it has to be above a thousand dollars. So let's say you get a thousand dollars, you want to put it in a CD. You can choose to put it in the amount of three months. Mm -hmm. So whatever amount of time. Okay. Maybe six years, ten years. Alright. Thank you. That's all I have for you today. Yeah. It was nice meeting you. You too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Investing is sometimes tricky. Listen to me and I'll help you out. Make sure you're investing properly and not making people pout. You can start by investing in responsible stocks and mutual funds like Pepsi, IBM, Motorola, and even Avon. Sure, you may think these responsible stocks don't make much dough, but in the last 10 years, they did well, as statistics show. So listen to me and you won't go wrong. Investing is not a game. By doing so, we'll better the world and better Earth's name. Word. <laughs>